Oh, hello. Howdy. We're about to see Anne. It's a play about... A Texan. Anne... A Texas lady who's tough as nails and funny as hell. Anne Richards. She was the governor of Texas. I'll be honest with you. I don't know how excited I am to see a play about a Texas governor. I agree. It's been in the works for a long time. But, you know what? There's some buzz. buzz. People are excited. I also heard I mentioned the... this to some non-theater people. Yeah? And they were like, I'm so stoked that you guys are seeing that. I'm, I'm excited about that. I love the fact that she's right there. There she is. She's looking at us. I think this might just be the... What's the, the British movie with the queen? Oh, the, the king's voice. No. The king's chair. No, the, the queen. Sit on me, queen. The queen movie. The queen. Queen me. It's called The Queen. It's, uh, Lincoln Center never does this wrong. Hers. I've got my doubts about this one. Uh, we'll see, see you at intermission. <laughs> so, intermission time. It starts off with Anne Richards giving a commencement speech. Looking back on her life. Looking back on her life. She becomes wistful. She talks about her childhood, her family, growing up, raising a family, being a housewife, being an alcoholic. This latter half of the first act is her in her office, kind of showing her how she deals with things. How she gets stuff done as a text tough as, as a tough Texas gal. <laughs> it's making me want to know more about this woman. From the word go, you are wrapped up in the the fervor and the the cult-like status of this woman. I do love me a good Texan, and this gal is 110% Texas. It's a strange breed, Texans, and she is a strange breed. She's a uh, she's a purebred from this strange breed. Narrative narrative arc wise, it does hit that lull when she does get into office. Something it gets happens. A little bit yeah, slugged yeah, down yeah. in the sort of bureaucracy, and I think narratively you feel that. But it's I'm I'm still very engaged. Also, Holland Taylor is kind of phenomenal as Ann Richards. I can't believe that Texas had a female governor for God's sake and Democratic to boot. They have Lone Star. At the, uh, <gasps> oh, they do. So, also, wait, wait, wait. So wait. look, here's the thing. You can't get Lone Star outside of the state of Texas. It's illegal to have Lone Star beer outside of Texas. So, so I really yeah, want to go get a Lone Star. <laughs> Holland Taylor gives a fierce performance. It's well written. It's Texas through and through. I didn't hate it, but it does come off a little bit like a prolonged stand-up comedy routine. Well, my, my issue with it is that it's bookend. The beginning is amazing. She gets an office. There's a whole set where the office comes out. The in-between stuff, I, it, it lost me. Towards the end, I was really moved. It's about public service. It's about public office. It's about our duty to our fellow man. Yeah. I kind of like her when she's more being tough as nails and not quite as funny as hell. There's a, there's a last moment where she makes a speech that is so moving and so like a call to arms. Yeah. No, I get that. And that's true. But it felt a little bit um, tacked on. I got it, and it, it got me, but it felt a little bit contrived. I mean, to me, yellow light. It's a fun night out. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm it's a fun piece of theater. When it does get to the meat and potatoes, I feel as though... Half-baked. It's half-baked. Yo, I'm meow. Trying, you know what? If you asked me intermission, I would have said yellow light. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm such a sucker for John Lennon's Imagine yeah. at the very end. Uh, green light, <laughs> yellow light for Anne at the Vivian Beaumont Theater.